In today's video, we're gonna be talking about visual storytelling, and I have a special guest with me. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Welcome back to all my Holly G's VIPs. I am so excited to see you here. And if you are new to me, my name is Holly G. I am your go-to video gal, and I help leading ladies save time on both sides of the camera. And I do this by teaching them the skills they need to create not just video, but business cinema, which is video with a plan, purpose, system, and strategy, not just willy-nilly video. So if you wanna learn more about that, go on over to hollygstudios.com. Since I'm away on maternity leave, I wanted to bring on one of my favorite biz buddies. This is someone near and dear to my heart. She is actually the woman behind my brand photos, Miss Malika Melhotra of Miki Photo. She is a genius when it comes to branding and brand photography. And I have brought her on here today to talk to you guys about visual storytelling. Specifically, she's gonna be sharing five visual stories you should be telling with your images for your brand. Malika actually has a whole playbook on this and it is packed full of goodness. Make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm gonna tell you how you can grab yourself a copy of this playbook. <laughs> hey everybody, hey Holly. Thank you so much for inviting me to share about visual storytelling to your audience. I'm super excited to be here. My name is Malika Malhutra and I am a brand photographer, a branding mentor and a brand expert. And I specialize in working with women entrepreneurs, helping them, empowering them to become the face of their brand. What I do with my clients is to help them define their story, master their message, and become visible so that they can become the go-to leader in their market. And today, what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are five photo stories that you should be sharing for your brands with your audience. These are five photo stories that you may not have considered before, but you will be able to implement them relatively quickly once you learn the different themes. And so I'm excited to share it with you because I do believe that we should all be visible. And if we're not, if we're not showing up as the face of our brand, we could be left behind and we could be leaving money on the table, which nobody wants. So have a watch, uh, sit back and get your pen and paper and let me share with you the five photo stories you should be sharing for your brand. Okay guys, so let's start with photo story number one. This is all about your purpose, also known as your mission statement and the big why behind why you do what you do. This is the story that goes beyond your products and services and really talks about why you started this business in the first place. So let me share with you a little bit about the purpose. So again, it is your missions. These are your principles, the values that you believe in. If we can share these types of photos with our audience, they will feel inspired and um, they'll feel closer to us as business owners. So a couple of questions you might wanna ask yourself as you're trying to figure out what kind of photos these could be or what do you wanna to give to the world? Why did you start this work in the first place? And what are the things that you are passionately standing for? And some ideas of how you can demonstrate that in photos are through quotes, through handwritten messages, um, which all will demonstrate your mission statement and your purpose statement of what you're trying to do with your brand. And it could be, you know, cards or mantras or affirmations. It could be quotes in books. Take a look at what you have around you in your office that is in alignment of what your mission and your purpose is. And if you can take a picture of it and share with your audience, you will inspire them and you'll make it bigger than just the products and services that you offer. You'll be sharing with them the purpose behind your business. The next photo story that you should be sharing is your expertise. What are you really, really good at that you might be able to um, be better than others in your market? So think about your skills, your talents. Think about any awards that you may have gotten in the past. Think about your process. Do you have a methodology or a framework that is branded and specific to the way you do business? You know, how do you do this work? What do people know you for? Write down some of those words and think about how you can express that in visuals. Here's an example of a realtor. And what we did is we took pictures of her um, where she had an award, where she was seen in a publication, she got some press. You know, think about other publicity or press that you may have gotten, or even if you are able to speak on stage about your expertise. 
These are all images that you can start sharing that really will differentiate you from the newbies, from the hobbyists, and position you as the authority in the market. Think about your personality. This is a great photo story to share because as we know, people do business with people and they really wanna know what your vibe and your style is like so that they can maybe choose you over somebody else. So think about you know, your character, your personality, your style, the feelings of how you work with your clients. You might even wanna ask friends and family and customers to list out some words of how they would describe you. You know, what are your characteristics that are unique to you? And think about those words and see how you can then make a story of them. So for example, the woman here in the picture, she's a health coach, but she has a real playful, fun vibe. So we took a picture of her um, juggling some lemons. The woman here on the left, she's a realtor, but she's really, really confident. So the way that she has her hand on her hip, the way that she's looking directly at the camera, really starts to express that confidence and that professionalism. The other woman in the picture, she is a health coach also, but she has a very bohemian spiritual vibe. You can see that with the props that we're using, how she's sitting just, you know, in the park, crisscross applesauce, and she has her candles all around her. So when you're thinking about your personality, also think about locations and props that will help enhance and bring that personality out. Another photo story that you would like to share is your inspiration. Where do you go to get your creative juices flowing? So here we have a personal stylist who goes to New York City, which is the mecca of fashion, and that's what inspires her. You know, think about where you go for ideas. Think about what helps you to think bigger. Or do you have any rituals or practices in place? Are you an early riser and you drink a cup of coffee in the morning and you have your journal with you to brain dump ideas? Do you do yoga where you have more of a spiritual and peaceful connection? Think about all of those practices that you do as you're working and maybe there is a story there that you can capture to share with your audience. So here again are some other examples. We have a business coach who's drinking her coffee, her tea in the morning. Um, and then we have another personal stylist that's looking through magazines of the trends. Um, and that is what inspires her. The last photo story that you should consider is your point of difference. How are you different than the rest? Many of us are in saturated markets, so it's really, really hard to stand out. So it's important to do this branding work to figure out what you might do that's different than everybody else. So what sets you apart? How are you specialized? What do you do differently? Do you have a niche? Is there something in your process or with your products? Um, is there some thing with your, how you work with your clients that can set yourself apart from the rest? You know, answer the question, people choose our brand over others because, and then brain dump all those answers and try to figure out how, again, you can visualize that. So here we have a picture of a stylist who puts together the, these photo books for her clients of all the different outfits. So that's a point of difference for her. So we made sure that we photograph that at her brand photo shoot. Um, but these are images that also are very easy for you to do DIY style just with your smartphone. Here we have a picture of a coach who is meeting in person with a client and that was her point of difference. She didn't do at that time a lot of work virtually or in a Zoom call. She did a lot of work in person. So we made sure to highlight that so that you know she had something different to say about her brand. Um, the woman on the right, again, she's a realtor and she sells a lot of homes all off the train line, you know? So she's servicing people that are, you know, commuting to New York City. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we highlighted that as part of her story. So we had that photo that we wanted to take to supplement her brand story. So how can you guys get started? Now that you know some of these themes, how can you guys get started? Well, the first part is to review and audit the photos that you already have for your business. Are there ones that you are missing? Do you have the inspiration photo? Do you have the purpose photo? You know, think about these themes and think about what might be missing. And then now that you know the category, start brainstorming how you can bring those themes to life as it is part of your brand story. Now you could hire a brand photographer and they could help you capture these images professionally, but I don't want you to think that's the only option. You can also do a DIY approach. Find a friend who has a camera, use your smartphone. Sometimes the best phone you have is the one that's with you and our smartphones are very, very powerful. 
The point is, is that you need to get started now sharing these photo stories in your marketing so that you can start getting visible. And when you get these photo stories, think about all the different places that you can share them from your website to your blogs, to sales pages, to social media, of course, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, newsletters, presentations, the, really the opportunities are endless to make yourself the face of your brand. And the more that you share, the more you'll get remembered, the more your brand will become noticed and memorable, and you'll start building a really strong reputation for your brand. So these are the photo stories um, that I wanted to share with you, and I hope it gives you a sense of how to bring your visual brand to life. Thank you guys for watching. I hope these photo stories inspired you to start thinking about your visual brand in a different way and to empower you to become the face of your brand. It's super easy to use your smartphone, uh, to find a camera, a friend, or even hire a brand photographer if you're ready to really create that library of images that will help you tell the story of your brand. So again, my name is Malika Malhotra. I am from Miki Photo & Co. And if I can help you any further with building your brand, please come visit me at my website, which is www.mikifoto.com, spelled M-I-K-I-F-O-T-O.com. Have a great day, guys. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Malika. I would love to hear from you guys. What was your biggest takeaway? Share your biggest takeaway in the comments below and make sure you like this video, subscribe to Malika's channel, which is included in the link below, as well as Holly G Studios channel, and you will be entered for a chance to win a copy of the Brand Photography Playbook. So again, make sure you're subscribed to both our channels, like this video and leave me a comment below, letting us know what your biggest takeaway was from this video. And remember, you are someone's reason to smile, so don't give up.